Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we will learn how to add the support for custom post type in your WordPress theme. So in the last couple of videos, we had created the index.php header and the footer files. And we also have created this function.php file where we added the styles and the JavaScript for our theme. So I have opened up my website over here. So this is my dashboard. You can open local and uh, then click on your site and click on start site and then click on admin and you can use the password and the username and log into your dashboard. So here we are in our dashboard and uh, right now we have this post type over here that is called post. Now we also want to have a post type called project so just like we have this post over here we should have a menu called project and it should have these different options over here so let's go to our posts and uh, we'll click on add new and we will add a new post and we'll name it uh, wordpress tutorial and we'll write something over here this is a tutorial for wordpress theme development so now if you click on publish uh, this post will be saved to our database before creating our custom post type we will add some features to our theme we want to have an option over here where we can upload our featured image so whenever this post is displayed we will have a thumbnail for our post so we will also add some other features so let's go to our project and we have to add all these features in our functions.php file so we'll go ahead and create a new function for it and uh, we'll just give it a and we'll just give a comment adding theme support so we'll create a function called gt init so gt init and in here we'll add a hook called add theme support and in here we have to specify the feature that we want so we'll type post thumbnails and then we have to add an action like we did over here so we will type add action and the first parameter will be after setup theme and the second parameter will be the function so here we have added the support for post thumbnails to our posts so we'll go to our website and see whether we have the feature so we'll go to posts and click on add new and if we go down over here we can see that we have an option to set our featured image and now we will add some more features to our themes so right now if we go to our website we can see that the title over here says GT coding and it will always say GT coding because we have hard coded the title in our header.php file so we'll go to our VS code and if we go to header.php we can see that the title tag is right here so this same header is going to be used in all our pages so every time it will show GT coding over here we don't want that we want this title to change according to the pages so what we'll do is remove this title from here and now if we'll save this and refresh our page we can see that GT coding dot local that is this URL over here is uh, printed as the title now we will add a new feature to our theme called title tag so we'll go to our functions.php file and here we will add a new theme support and we'll say title tag now if we'll save this and if we'll refresh this page we can see that the title says GT coding learn coding from scratch so so this data over here is coming from the settings that we have in our theme so if you go to the settings and if you click on general here we can see this is the site title and this is the tagline so these are displayed over here we will just remove this and say learn coding and if we will save this and we'll go ahead and refresh this page you can see that it says GT coding learn coding so now whenever we go to a specific page 
it will show the title of that page over here so in this way this title will be dynamic now the next theme support that we want to add is HTML5 so after we add this HTML5 theme support we will have the option of using the HTML5 attributes to our comment forms to the search form and so on so we'll type HTML5 over here and for the next parameter we will add where we want this HTML5 to be added so we'll create an array for this so here we will type comment list and then we will type comment form and then we'll type search form so these are the areas where we want HTML5 to be implemented so that's it for the features of our uh, theme now we'll create the custom post type so if we'll go to the admin area we can see that we have this posts over here now we want to add a new post type called projects so for that we'll go to functions.php file and here we will add a new comment and we'll type projects post type so we'll create a function called gt custom post type and here we have to use a hook called register post type and the first parameter should be the name of our post type and for the next parameter we have to give an array so we will type array and first of all we will set the URL for our custom post type so we will type rewrite and we will give an array and we will say slug and uh, it will be equal to projects the next thing is the labels and in labels we will have an array and here we will give it a name and we'll say projects and the singular name should be project and uh, for adding new item we want it to say add new project and for editing the item we want it to say edit project and the next thing we will do is uh, add an icon for our post type so we'll type menu icon and we'll give an icon called dash icons clipboard so if you want to see all the icons you can go to this website called uh, developer.wordpress.org you can just search for dash icons wordpress on google and you will see this website and here you can select any of these icons so for example if i select this icon it will give me the name of this icon so just search for your favorite icon and uh, you can type the name over here the next thing is that whether we want it to be public so we definitely want it to be public because we want the users to see our projects if it is a feature just for the admins then we can keep it private or else we want it to be public the next thing is do we want to have archives for this so using archives you can filter your project by date author categories and so on so we will set it to true and the last thing we'll do is add what should be supported by this custom post type so here we will create an array for this and we will type title then we will type thumbnail then we will type editor then we will type excerpt and we also want the comments to be enabled so that's basically it for our uh, custom post type now we will add an action to run this function so we'll type add action and uh, here we will type init and then the name of the function now we'll go to our dashboard and uh, if you refresh this page we can see that we have this projects post type and if you we'll click on add new we can see that add new project is displayed over here that's the same thing that we had uh, specified over here and uh, then we have the title the editor we have also the option for the excerpt we have the option for the featured image and all these things we'll just add a new project
and we'll just publish it and if you go to the projects list we can see our project over here and if you go to posts we can see all the posts over here so this is how you have different post types so that's basically it for this uh, video so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day